What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to taste test New Zealand MRE. Let's see what it's all about. Actually super excited for New Zealand MRE because I really want to visit New Zealand one day. So it's kind of cool to see what New Zealand MRE food tastes like. Last time you guys enjoyed when I was doing this in the woods. So this time I'm going to do this again. Let's see what's inside. Whoa! Everything wrapped up with the rubber bands. Instant noodle. Whoa, no way. I never seen instant noodle in the MRE. So that's definitely first one for beef flavor. What else? Onion flakes. No way. You put onion flakes inside of Roman noodles. This is awesome. Muesli. I love muesli. You guys know what that is. There is instruction. Uh, it just tells you what's inside of New Zealand and Marie. I'll just figure it out. Ooh, milk chocolate. I love milk chocolate. What else? Cabin bread. Some kind of bread. I wonder what it looks like on the inside. Milk chocolate with clinkers. Not sure what that is. We'll open it up and find out. Ooh, sweet and condensed milk. I love sweet and condensed milk. I love it. New Zealand and Marie is a special one. It honestly reminds me of Australian MRE, but it seems different. I think this right here is the breakfast. Again, this is a 24-hour ration pack. That's why it's a lot of food. You don't eat it all at once. You eat it all day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Muesli bar. Whoa, that's different. Apple, sultana and berry. 34 grams. I wonder what that looks like. Biscuit. Biscuit Anzac, 34 gram. Boiled sweets, what? That's really confusing as well. I wonder what it's going to look like on the inside. So much stuff, oh my gosh. I'm probably not gonna be able all of that. Peanut butter raisins, beautiful. Strawberry fruit grains, wow. So much food, I can't believe it. Apricot jam, wow, I love apricot. I used to go to the wild trees and get apricots all the time. Tomato sauce, nice. Plum jam, so much different type of jam. This is amazing. No way, survival matches. I can't believe it. They actually come in this amazing, uh, what do you call it, uh, container. And there is waterproof matches and this is a little bigger matches. That's amazing. I love this kind of matches. <clears throat> Boom, what is that? There's no label on this thing. Whoa, what is this? Sweet, sweet and sour chicken with the rice. Amazing, so much food. Muesli bar, another one. And the last package right here. What is this? Tea bag, sugar, Lots of sugar, lots of sugar. Another tea bag. Whoa, look at that, there's a sponge to do your dishes. That's definitely unique. I never seen a sponge for the dishes inside of the MRE. Dental gum, bunch of gum over here. Looks like salt and paper. Sport, sports drink, bunch of sports drinks. There's a lot of stuff in here. Towelette, antibacterial, so it's like antibacterial towel. Chocolate drink, oh my gosh, so much food, so much sweets, and instant soup beef. Definitely not going to eat it all at once, definitely all day Russian pack. First of all, we're going to light up our stove. Boom. And now here I got stew and sour chicken with the rice. We're gonna open it up and dump it all out in this little beam. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. As you can see, it's already pre-cooked. All it is going to take is just a minute to warm it up. I have to mix it up so it doesn't burn to the bottom. Right here, this is a beef stew. Ooh, that looks good. That looks hot. So I'm gonna put it aside and warm this up real quickly. This is stew and sour chicken with the rice. Definitely tastes sour, but sweet kind of sour. It has those tomatoes and it has rice. 
this is honestly very delicious. I see there is some onions as well too. This just tastes like home homemade food. Okay, this is the beef stew. I see pot lots of potatoes. I see some beef and I see this green beans in there as well and onions and lots of sauce. Definitely have to warm up that food because it tastes way better when it's warm. Look how it came with the little sponge. I can use a little bit of water to wash off my pot from the previous meal. This is actually helpful a lot. This is nice. I can scrub it and clean it up. Once again, I'm going to boil water in another pot. Boom, look at that. There you go. There's some Roman noodles or instant noodles, that's what I meant to say. I'm going to put it all in here. It feels like wet spice. Then we're going to add onion flakes. Look at that. That looks good. And now let's boil water and f fill up the hot water. Then we're going to cover it up so it cooks up really well. And also I'm going to make some muesli. Whoa, that's a lot. Again, we're going to boil water and add boiled water now. And boom, muesli is really easy to make. Just mix it up. And again, we're going to cover it and let it sit for a while to get it all cooked up. Oh no, forgot to use tomato sauce with beef. Whoa, look at that. This is a very dark tomato sauce. I'm going to put it in my soup. Mmm, the tomato sauce tastes sweet. Interesting. This is just regular instant noodles. Delicious, but nothing fancy. Boom, look at that. We got ourselves muesli. Muesli is really good. It's this milky with raisins and some kind of different foods inside of it. This one's don't really taste really sweet. So I'm used to eating this muesli really sweet. So that's kind of different. Next thing we're going to do is open up the stick tea bag. Whoa, look at that. It's actually a very cool design of a packaging. Gonna put tea over here. And I remember there's a hot chocolate somewhere. There you go, there's a hot chocolate. And we're going to put hot chocolate in here. Oh yeah, almost forgot, there's instant soup. Let's try that out. And boom, as you can see, that really dark tea and hot chocolate looks really good. First, let's try out this instant soup. Whoa! Tastes pretty salty. Wow, this is a delicious instant soup. Sodium, 1200 milligrams. No wonder it tastes like really, really salty. Okay, now the best part is sweets, New Zealand sweets. Let's try them out. This is carbon bread right here and I have jam over here. So I'm just going to put the jam and uh, other stuff right on top of this bread. This is looks like cookie. It's just plain bread. Boom. Look at that jam. This is a uh, plump jam. Mmm. That's delicious. Have you ever had plum jam? Let me know in comments below. If you haven't, you have to try it out. It's really good. Chocolate drink. Yeah, this is apricot jam. I love apricot jam. Again, if you haven't tried apricot jam, you're missing out. You see, this is, looks like jelly. This like yellow color. Oh, I just dropped some on myself. Apricot jam is the best. But you know what's better? Cond condensed milk. And I have a whole tube of a condensed milk. Look at that. Whoa, yeah. Mmm. Condensed milk is super sweet. And it has, it probably has a thousand calories just in one little tube like that because it has lots of lots of sugar. Mmm, but that's so delicious. Condensed milk is always probably my favorite sweets ever. 
you have to drink it with coffee, tea or something. You can't just eat it because you'll be super thirsty. Okay, there you go, there's a biscuit. Whoa, look at this biscuit, it's a little cookies. You know what's amazing to do? Put condensed milk right on a cookie like that, on a biscuit, boom. Wow. Honestly, Australian MRE and New Zealand MRE has the best sweets. You know what, after this meal, I'm not eating today, there's so many colors. This whole thing probably has over 4,000 calories. Milk chocolate. Let's open it up. Whoa, I thought it's gonna be white, but look, it's just milk chocolate. Mmm. We already know how milk chocolate tastes like. Very good. I never done this before, but I'm gonna do this anyways. Condensed milk on the chocolate. Mmm. <laughs> wow, that's too much sweets. Milk chocolate with clinkers, whatever that means. Same kind of chocolate than the other one, but it looks like it has some kind of nuts. Let me know in comments below what does the clinkers means. Mmm, this chocolate bar is so much better. Muesli bar. Whoa, look at that. Mmm. It has apple, sultana, and berry. Tastes like apple jam inside of it. Boiled sweets. I'm so sweets out. Whoa! No way, look at that. There's full pack of candies. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Never seen candies like that inside of MRE. This one tastes like lemon. And it's not over yet. Strawberry food grains. Let's see what that is. Whoa! What is that? Look at that. Some kind of squares. Mmm. That's very good actually. It's like strawberry jam, kind of dried out. Tastes so delicious. I never had anything like that. Wow. And I love strawberry. Peanuts and grains. Wow. How much sweets are there? Whoa! Oh, it looks like peanuts and raisins. Very good. I love it. That's honestly way too much food. Wow. This is my favorite MRE because it has so many sweets. It's very delicious. Honestly, I like sweets way better than the main meal, but overall I give a huge thumbs up to New Zealand MRE. You know how I always try to point out what's so special about the MREs? Well, the very unique is the case of matches that is waterproof, also the sponge to wash your dishes in, this weird little candies and just so many sweets. It definitely stands out how much sweets there is. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I just throw it this New Zealand MRE. It's so delicious. I wish I could eat it all at once, but it's just too much food. You don't eat this whole MRE in one setting. You're supposed to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You ration it out. You can also eat it even longer. You can eat it for the whole week. If all you have is one MRE and you need to survive for a few days or a week, you can definitely ration it out for the whole week. Just eat one thing a day and like have a little snack. Well guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.